Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Backpacks of the Commonwealth mod, which is being made by user B-Man Blazer. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is 15 new backpacks added into the world to help you carry all the crap you desire. And I love this thing, as it adds in some pretty awesome looking backpacks, as you can see right here. Now, in total, this mod adds in 15 backpacks that can be found scattered around the world and specifically it has been added into the leveled loot list so you'll be able to find these backpacks on NPCs on vendors in containers and even there are some locations in the world where you are guaranteed to find certain ones of these backpacks so you should have a pretty easy time getting a hold of them though being in the level leveled loot list, you may have to wait a while till you see some. For instance, this uh, postman's mailbag here you can find from the start of the game. In fact, you can find one at the Red Rocket. But if you want, say, oh boy, this fusion-powered personal carrying device, yeah, you're not going to find that until level 60. And you get all of these other backpacks in between. Now, not only do we get these backpacks, but the mod also adds in five new magazines into the game, each of which will just uh, overall increase either carry capacity or damage resistance and things like that for all backpacks which is pretty cool so you also have those five magazines now one sort of downside to how we're going to look at these today typically whenever i go through any new parts mod or not parts mod that's Kerbal space program any new item or equipment mod i will go through each of them and show all the modifications but we have kind of a problem with this in the fact that there's too many really to sensibly go through as there are 50 different modifications and 40 different colors that you can change certain backpacks to. But the issue is that they all aren't shared between the backpacks. Each individual backpack has its own different list of modifications. So that 50 different mods and 40 colors is divided by the 15 here, more or less. So what we're going to do is go over each of the backpacks and give an overview of what we can get from them and then take a look at a handful of the modifications just to get a sense of what you can find. So let's start here with the Postman's Mailbag, which, as I did mention, can be found from level zero. And it will give you, at its base level, 10 extra carry capacity, 2 damage resistance, and it has no negatives, which is pretty cool. Some of the other backpacks in the future will actually hurt your agility and things like that, but this one does not and it can be upgraded to have five additional carry capacity so 15 total and that damage resistance can be upped from 2 to 10. And as for colors, you can either have this standard postman's mailbag or a uh, light blue bag as well. So you have two different color combos. Now the next bag here is the leather shoulder bag. Now this can be found starting at level 10 and it has a base of 20 carry capacity and 5 damage resistance. Again, no negatives on this one and it can be upgraded to 25 carry carry capacity and 15 damage resistance and it has either the standard brown leather or you can also change it to black leather. Now the next bag that we have here is the Outcast Travel Pouch. Now this one is the first to have some negative implications. It does give you 25 carry capacity but negative 2 to agility but does give you 5 damage resistance. Now this one actually has a fair amount of modifications so you can upgrade it from 25 to 30 to 35 to 40 carry capacity and the damage resistance from 5 to 20 and that negative agility you can change it to only having one negative agility zero or even 
plus one endurance depending on the modification you use. And as for colors, you can have either green or tan. And it is a very, very nice backpack. The next one is the Raiders Harnessed Metal Container, which has 30 care capacity and negative one agility and 10 damage resistance. You can up it to 35 carry capacity, 30 damage resistance, and take out the uh, agility negative to make it just zero. And you have either red, green, yellow, or blue. Now the next one that we have here is the Courier's Backpack, which has a standard of a 30 carry capacity, negative one agility, and 10 damage resist. You can upgrade it to 35 and then eventually 40 carry capacity, 10 to 20 damage resistance, and either take it down from the negative one agility to zero. It has no color combos, but what's really interesting is the modification that adds 40 carry capacity also has a canteen that uh, every so often you'll take a sip of fresh water, which is kind of cool, especially if you are on a hardcore character. Now, the next backpack that we have here is the Trapper's Back Pouch with 35 carry capacity and negative one agility and has a five damage resist on it. Now the carry capacity can be upgraded to 40, the damage resist all the way up to 30, and the agility can be taken to zero, so basically no negative connotation. It has no different color combinations and I just suddenly realized I stopped telling you the levels these would start at. So the Trapper one, you'll find that at starting at 20, the Courier's Bag you'll start seeing at negative 15, same with the Rainer's Harnessed Metal Container, and the Outcast Pouch and the Leather Shoulder Bag you'll start seeing at level 10. So that is pretty cool. Now the next one we have here, we did the Trapper, so yes, we are on to the Tinker's Rucksack, which has 40 carry capacity and negative 2 agility and 25 damage resist. Now this one can be upgraded all the way up to 80 carry capacity. Does have some interesting modifications in regards to it, such as similar to the uh, the one that we saw with the Courier's backpack with the canteen, but also has a rad one as well, which is interesting. Now the damage resist on it can be taken from 25 up to 40, and again we can take out the agility negative with a certain modification, but no different color variations, but overall very cool. Now let's start back down at, uh, oh wait, hold on, hold on, back to the Tinkerers. That one, level 25, that's when you'll start to see it. And then the next one we have is the Mountaineer's Backpack, very cool. You'll start seeing this one at, at uh, level 30, now that I'm remembering that, has a carry capacity of 50, but no agility penalty, which is cool, and 15 damage resist. Now you can up the carry capacity to 50, the damage resist will always be at 15, uh, but you can have it in either green, blue, or rose colored, which is fun. Now the next one that we have here is the Squire's Backpack, which does have a carry capacity of 50, negative 2 agility, damage resistance of 10. Now you can upgrade this one all the way up to 60 carry capacity plus an additional little attachment. Uh, we do have the damage resist resistance can be brought up to 30, agility can be brought to 0, or even adding 1 endurance. And as for colors, this one is either brown leather, US Army green canvas, or black leather leather, and you'll start seeing it at level 35. Now the next one is pretty fun, I like this one, it is the Gary Personal Caring Device 9700, which has 55 carry capacity, negative 1 agility, and damage resistance of 2, and this one can be brought up to 65 carry capacity, which doesn't seem like much, but it does have that water attachment for the canteen, so again you'll occasionally take sips of water. Now the damage resistance can't be brought up, the agility can be brought to zero or even increased to one endurance, and it comes in either green, blue, red, or purple. And I just like it because, I mean, come on, it's a, it's a freaking, like, 
sci-fi backpack. It's great. Now the next one we have here is the Scribes backpack, which has a base level of 60 carry capacity, negative 2 agility, and 10 damage resistance. It can be found at level 45, which I forgot to tell you, the Gary is level 40, that's when you'll find it. But back to the Scribes backpack, wow, I really need to remember that level thing. The Scribes backpack with the 60 carry capacity, negative 2 agility, 10 damage resist, can be upgraded to 75 carry capacity. The damage resist cannot be changed. The agility can be brought down to zero or plus one endurance and has no different color changes. Now the next one we have here is the military backpack, which you'll find at start at level 50. It has 70 carry capacity, negative one agility, and a damage resistance of 10. Now the uh, carry capacity can be brought up to 80, the damage resistance can be brought up to 30, and again the agility can be brought to zero or even up one endurance. And it has four different colors, either Rebel Canvas, US Army Green, Dark Blood Ruby, or Shadow Black. Now the next one we have is my personal favorite of all the backpacks. I mean, come on, just look at that thing. It is gorgeous. This is the Woodsman backpack, and it has at a base level of 75 carry capacity with negative two agility. You will start finding it as well at level 50. And of course, uh, damage resistance of 15 there. Now the carry capacity can be upgraded to 80. The uh, agility can be brought only down to negative one. You can't completely get rid of it. But yeah, I mean, you know, you can deal with that. And the colors on it can be either woodland, black, or red, which is pretty cool. Or also, because my character's wearing it, a uh, urban camo color. And I love the look of it with my marine combat armor. It is gorgeous. Now, the next one we have is the Mercenary's Rucksack, which you'll start seeing at level 55. It has 80 carry capacity, negative one agility, and damage resistance of 10. Now, you can upgrade it to 85 carry capacity. You can also change it from negative one agility up to one endurance. So you just have either the, one of those two options and you'll find it in khaki, green, or brown. Now the final one is the fusion powered personal carrying device, which you'll start seeing at level 60. Now it has a base of 85 carry capacity, negative two agility, and 50 damage resist. You can up it to 100 carry capacity being the best back pack in the game here and also give a whole heck of a lot more damage resistances to other forms of damage rather than just standard damage resist and it can also be brought down to either zero agility or plus one endurance and also has either the marine blue color or an inquisitor yellow and that is all 15 of the backpacks now let's actually take a quick look at just some of the modifications to give you an idea of how the modifications Modifications are split up. Let's go to the armor workbench and head down first to the postman mailbag since that's probably going to be, well, it will be the first one you find in the game. And so this one has a cloth frame that can be upgraded for that carry capacity to a flexible cloth frame. We also have the shell of the pack, which, oop, nope, didn't mean to exit out there. The shell, which is either be cloth or hardened, giving you that extra damage resistance. So that is how those go with the resistances and carry weights. And then we also have the color here of either the standard US mail blue or the navy blue post office color. Now, uh, one of the other ones here is, say, the Scribe's Backpack, which unfortunately doesn't have many modifications except for the leather pouch. You can change to Sturdy or, of course, the additional front pockets, which does take out that agility penalty. So that is how that one works. Now, we do also have, say, the Marine Pack, which, or not the Marine Pack, the Woodsman Backpack that I'm wearing over my marine combat armor. This is my personal favorite one because I do like the leather frame can be upgraded with a Radaway right first aid kit, which even though you do get more carry capacity, you still have that negative to agility, but it removes rads periodically. And there are other backpacks with similar modifications. And then we have that large water canteen, which like I said, does, you know, give you the fresh water and uh, rads restored periodically, which is pretty cool. So a pretty powerful little backpack there. I do like that. And of course, does have the different fun camouflages, which is wonderful. And then let's take a look at, say, the uh, the Gary one, because, I mean, 
It's just fun. It's a big metal sci-fi backpack. And we can upgrade it with either more carry capacity, more uh, rads removed periodically, plus carry capacity, or the plasma reactor, which adds in, as you can see here, a lot more different resistances. So instead of just the standard damage resist, we also have energy and rad resist, which is Cool. And of course, finally, the uh, fusion powered carrying device, by far the best backpack in the game here, where it can be upgraded all the way up to the 100, either with only plus one endurance or just, you know, you drink water and rads restored periodically. Always cool. And who doesn't love 100 extra carry capacity? And as for the plating on it, you either have the 50 resistances or 50 additional rad resist and 25 energy resist. So very, very cool as to how all of these work. Now, like I said, uh, we can't really take a look at all of them as it would just take way too much time, but each one does have unique modifications, changing its carry capacity, some of them helping you with the negative agility, some increasing endurance, others adding things like canteens, rad removal, etc. All of which, though, being freaking awesome. And like I said, you can find them pretty much anywhere in the game and you'll just start seeing them at the different levels between NPCs, vendors, containers, and even, you know, just finding them on the ground on occasion, which is pretty cool. So if you would like to check out this mod for yourself, which I would definitely recommend that you go and do because it is awesome, you can take a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for this episode today, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed. And of course, that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.